So we're going to the OR. Okay, so that will be in. Oh, scrub room is in here. Room. For Ellen Pompeo the certainly know their way around the hospital set. So I okay. need to learn how to scrub. Okay. Showing me the finer points of prepping for TV surgery. And this has soap and betadine on it, which is antiseptic. So hold your arms up. Feels kind of good, actually. Yeah. Uh huh. Like the first time, it feels good. The thirtieth time, <laughs> when your skin's raw. Okay. So how long do you scrub? That's pretty for? good. Yeah. In real life, they probably scrub for a little bit longer. On TV, we do it pretty quick, as long as the dialogue takes. <laughs> <laughs> for 14 seasons, Pompeo has played Dr. Meredith Gray on ABC's Gray's Anatomy. Pick me. Choose me. The show has captivated fans with the dramatic twists and turns at Seattle's Gray Sloan Memorial. Post blunt trauma to the chest and abdomen. Tonight's Grays hit a major milestone with its 300th episode, and it did not disappoint. The Hopper Avery for Surgical Innovation goes to Dr. Meredith Gray. What is your favorite part of playing Meredith? I get to sort of be a superhero in Scrubs and play an ordinary person. She's very real and uh, very flawed, but very strong. Pompeo's character is now the head of general surgery, but when the show started in 2005, yeah. Meredith Gray was a wide-eyed first-year intern. When my agent first called and said, you know, ABC would love you to do this medical pilot, I said, oh, I hate medical shows. They make me anxious, and I'm a hypochondriac, and I can't possibly <laughs> do it. And he said, just do the pilot and take the paycheck. These things never go. They never go. They never go. These pilots never go, and here I am. After scrubbing in for over a decade. Then you go in backwards, you gotta, yeah. Well, don't trip over here. Pompeo knows how to be convincing in a fictional operating room. You put the gown on, and then you put the gloves on. That's kind of like And then you tie your thing. Yep, yeah. uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, you go like this. <laughs> and then you say ten, ten blade. blade. Ten blade. A. Yeah, but you gotta do it with some authority, like ten blade. Ten blade. Yes, uh-huh, like that. And then you go whoo, and you cut. I was good up until That's the woo it. cutting part. You're hired. <laughs> I'm hired. I'm a doctor. Like Pompeo, Jesse Williams has become a breakout star on Grays. We are now officially a hospital run by doctors. But playing a doctor for seven seasons has sometimes made his real life seem stranger than fiction. A flight attendant has kind of earnestly looked at me when they needed a doctor and looked at me and began to ask me or expect me to get up and do it. And I had to check one once and just like, I'm not. You know I'm not a doctor. You know, the one thing you do know about me is that I'm not a doctor. Just the actors who are convincing, so are the props used in the surgeries, which are remarkably lifelike. We have a, like a model, like a, a reproduction of Scott Foley's head because he played a character on the show many years ago and his character unfortunately passed away. So we still occasionally use that from time to time. And so sometimes we're operating and we finally look down at Scott Foley's head while we're <laughs> cutting open the middle <laughs> a little further down. Three of the show's original cast members, Justin right. Chambers, way, James Pickens Jr. Yeah, and Chandra right. Wilson, so, helped yeah. us pull back the curtain <laughs> even further. All right. Here's the All right. super right. secret right. special. You can warn me before we walk in this room. You, you know that, right? The highlight of the tour is the medical prop room. I think that was my patient. I don't re right remember there. the plot, yeah. but I remember that. You had the pen and the eye yeah, guy. I'm almost positive. Yeah, I'm looking at hair on the yeah. arm. Oh, yeah. I remember this one here. I remember this one here. Yeah, the specifics that of that. This is like our surgery wing and our ORs are here. OR1 is there. All before. these walls move. They go up. Oh, really? Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah to make it easy for us to shoot in. So if we need to shoot in that room, looking in this direction, we just fly this wall right on up. Show creator Shonda Rhimes has come up with some astonishing medical scenarios over the years. They research it, and a lot of these cases that you see we perform, they are actual cases. Mm -hmm. We've had some of the craziest <laughs> things come through this hospital that you would <laughs> ever want to imagine. I mean, Based on have you ever looked at a script truth. and you're like, come on. All the time, All right? the time. All the time. <laughs> I remember the, the, we had, when was it, like back season three, season two, where we had the passengers stuck on the pole. So, if you move me, I'll die. Yeah, right. And I was like, how yeah. you go, yeah. really? Yeah. Sure. And then yeah. <laughs> we just went on and yeah. shot it, you know? Yeah. It's like, I can't believe yeah. it. How much do you know in advance? What's going to happen through, throughout the season for your character? Oh, gosh. It's oh, script wow. to script. Yeah. Yeah. It really is script to script. Yeah. Yeah. You'll talk or, to the writers at the beginning of the season. season. They'll kind of give you an idea of where the characters yeah. might head. But things change <laughs> on a dime. Yeah. And we yeah. just rock and roll with it.
The show is so collaborative that four cast members have gone behind the camera. Chandra Wilson has directed 17 episodes. She knows what she wants. You know, that's the actress in her. So she's, okay, you get here. Well, yeah. And you get here. Yeah. But so she's really that kind of hands-on. Yeah, okay. I don't sit back and yeah. wait and see what people want to yeah. do. I just, you tell them what to do. I just do. go, you stand right here and put your hand you like that right. and turn very this way. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like, like very hands-on like direction. Yeah, yeah. Like she's yeah. got a dollhouse. Is that what it is? Ellen Pompeo has also directed an episode of Grades, and it's a natural fit. I'm just going to teach you how to be a doctor. Oh, good. Yeah. Good. Don't ask me any questions in the street. I don't know any answers. Don't ask me about football. <laughs> your finger's Ellen, crooked. Your yeah, finger. crook your finger. Look at that. That's I need the doctor player. to fix my finger. <laughs> how about this one? Hold on. Ooh! Ah! You're a doctor! Why is she running? You're a doctor! That should freak you out! For Nightline, I'm Michael Strahan in Los Angeles. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.